our business insight this morning. It's been a really serious couple of weeks with the election, the big debate over the streetcar. So we decided we needed to talk about something fun this week. And what's more fun than the holidays downtown? Joining us to talk about all there is to do, Mindy Rosen, Senior Vice President for Communications and Strategic Initiatives for Downtown Cincinnati, Inc. She is with our business courier publisher, Jamie Smith. Jamie and Mindy. Thanks, Brian. Mindy, thanks for coming in today. Happy holidays. Yeah, thanks. And back to you. As Brian said, there's been a way too much seriousness this week in Cincinnati. Let's talk about fun and pleasure and the holidays. I love it. I know when you when you go to your website, it, it uh, kind of the theme that carries out is eat, shop, stay, play, and park. Tell us about some of the fun things we're going to be able to do in those under those themes this year. Well, we have a lot to do when it comes to play. In fact, we have one more Macy's Downtown Dazzle, and that's our Repelling Santa event. It's December 14th on Fountain Square at 6.30. So Santa just comes right down the building, huh? Somehow he magically comes <laughs> down that building, and Santa is accompanied by an elf and a reindeer. And the reindeer is pretty interesting. He comes down head first. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That sounds like fun. Now, you've had two of those. Uh, that draws a lot of people down. I mean, obviously, people like to gather around and see things like that. It does, Jamie. It, it uh, attracts about 5,000 people each Saturday, and we love that they're downtown, many for the first time. Um, and I think they're going to see a really beautiful, fun, exciting downtown that maybe they haven't seen before. Oh, good. I know the Economic Center at UC did a study about entertainment dollars that happen over the holidays. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yes. In 2012, we asked the UC Economic Center to do a study on this. What, what kind of economic impact does Santa have? And sure enough, it's about $2 million just during the holiday season. That's what people spend on entertainment. Wow. And that's not on food. That's just the arts, uh, skating, anything else that you can spend dollars on for fun. Exactly. It's just entertainment dollars. Well, it's that's... not shopping and dining. It really is significant. It's always fun to talk about Santa, but there is an economic yeah. impact, too. Well, just in the last couple of months, there's been a lot of new places open up in downtown Cincinnati for, for eating, for, you know, for your dining and, and uh, happy hours. But if you haven't been downtown since last Christmas, I think you're going to be kind of uh, kind of surprised aren't you oh I think you are there's always new restaurants opening uh, Jean uh, Jean Robert the chef opened a new restaurant called French crust and that's on Vine Street the Hyatt Hotel did a massive renovation and now has a wonderful restaurant called the Red Roost Tavern so th those are just two of many new yeah, restaurants exactly now uh, carriage rides I believe they happen yes. a lot talk a little bit about the carriage rides we and do. the trolleys Every Saturday and Sunday, we have free carriage rides, and you um, jump on the carriage right by Macy's, Fifth and Race. It's a free carriage. It holds 20 people, and it's about a 10-minute ride around okay. downtown. Fun way to see downtown. Yeah, one of my favorite holiday things is to bring my daughter down and skate. Oh, she I likes to laugh at me as I kind of fall and, you know, gracefully or ungracefully, I guess, go around. But it's a great place to, to have fun there on the square. It is. In fact, last year, about 40,000 people came down and used the ice rink. Wow. So we hope to see even more this year. Yeah. And with this cold weather, it should put everybody in the mood, I think, for that, shouldn't it? I think it does. <laughs> How about Santa? It couldn't be Christmas without Santa. Oh. Besides him rappelling down, where else can we find him? He's inside Macy's every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then also the Monday and Tuesday right before Christmas. Okay. He's on the first floor and he's fabulous. All right, great. Well, Mindy, thank you so much for being here today. I'm looking forward to taking part in a lot of these festivities and I'm sure our audience will as well. Thank you. Okay, thanks a lot.